fucking working. Ah, <laughs> what's the mother fucking deal? Uh, I'm gonna assume so. Yeah, it's working. What's the motherfucking deal? It's your boy Kiki Kushitsu back up in a bit with a new Let's Play. Uh, I figured with the uh, recent resurgence in, you know, uh, Assassin's Creed. Well, not resurgence, I guess you could say. Uh, but with the recent hype beyond the new Assassin's Creed uh, Valhalla, I figured why not start playing some Assassin's Creed games. Uh, I'm going to try and do them in chronological order as we, you know, go throughout the, you know... Uh, the games we play, I'm not going to just constantly be playing Assassin's Creed. I'm going to try as much as I can. I might skip two, so you all have to forgive me. When we get to Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, I'll explain uh, the events of two if you don't know. Uh, at least the main points. I'm not going to, you know, uh, there's not too much to spoil, I guess. But we starting off fucking completely fucking blank slate. Assassin's Creed 1, released in 2007 by Ubisoft. Um... I didn't play this one until late. Brother, uh, Brotherhood was my first into the Assassin's Creed series back in 2010. Although I think actually Brotherhood came out in 2009. Oh shit, I'm probably wrong. I am a huge Assassin's Creed fan, but I am not, you know, the one in terms of Assassin's Creed, so I don't actually know all my ish. But we lit, we in it, we gonna get straight into it. Uh, yes, I'm gonna go over my fucking save game, and we're gonna try and do this in its entirety, and, uh, Hope I don't fucking hate my life, because I do suck at these older Assassin's Creed games. I'm pretty good at Brotherhood. I'm alright at fucking Revelations. I just The story is what brings me in. It's not even really the gameplay or anything. It's the characters and the story all the fucking way. So bear with us. Bear with me. Bear Labs Inc. And uh, uh, let's get fucking lit. We're just going to start it straight up off the bat. There are no subtitles for this uh, game, so I apologize. Uh, I'll try to be quiet as much as I can while people are talking. Um, but, uh, who, who fucking knows? You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit, yeah, okay, I'm loud as hell. Whoa, shit, Slenderman looking motherfucking. You can, yo, look, I, bitches, I know, I know. You're all for Altair here, but. Come on now. Who is this man? Yo, bitches, get the fuck. I'll start fucking beating bitches up. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. He's got a problem. I can't anchor him to the memory. Too much psychological trauma. He's rejecting the treatment. Okay, Epsil epilepsy warning, by the way. If y'all are epileptic, uh, please back off for a second. And I'll let y'all know when you come back. Just listen for the cue, because this shit's, this shit's fucked. Like, I feel like I'm tripping balls right now. Recognize that what you're seeing is not real. Just that motherfuckers are throwing me around and shit. Can't hurt you. Damn it. It's not working. I'm kind of excited. Give it a moment, Mr. You'll adjust. The first Holy time is never easy. We're losing him. That's enough, Mr. Stuman. We need to pull God, feel, man, this is fucking me up. The fucking visuals and shit. Just... All right, Desmond. Eesh. We're going to try and bring you out now. Yeah, we're tripping fucking balls. It's still uh, looking really crazy. All right, y'all can come back now. If y'all are epileptic, it's not I too crazy. I told you he'd be fine. You bastards! Now, now, I just saved your life. Saved my life? You kidnapped me! You strapped me into that thing! Animus. It's an animus. I don't even know you people! Why are you doing this to me? You have information we need, Mr. Miles. Information? I'm a bartender, for Christ's sakes! <laughs> no, you you're not, man. You want me to mix a martini? We know who mm. you are. What you are. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play coy with me. There isn't time. Who the fuck You're uses an that word? Assassin. And whether you realize it or not, you've got something that my employers want locked away in that head of yours. But I'm not an assassin. Not anymore. Yes, your file indicated as much. Something about an escape. Most fortunate for us. What do you want from me? For you to do as you're told. The Animus will allow us to locate what we need. Once we have it, you'll be free to go. I am not going back in there. 
Then we'll induce a coma and continue our work. When we're done, you'll be left to die. Truth be told, the only reason you're still conscious is because this approach saves us time. You're insane. So what is it, Mr. Miles? Live or die? Live or die. The red pill or the blue Lie pill? Lie down. Um, no. But okay, we will, just to progress the story. A wise decision. I don't know about all that. Whoa. Yeah, we're just gonna run up the, the intro of the show Where first, and this is gonna be a quick episode, hopefully. Animus, which is... Ugly ass It's a part. projector that renders genetic memories in three dimensions. Hey, baby girl. Genetic memory. Seems you'll need a bit of a tutorial. Very well. We'll start simple. What is a memory, Mr. Miles? It's the recollection of a past event. Specific to the individual remembering the event. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what if I told you that the human body not only housed an individual's memory, but the memories of his ancestors as well? Genetic memory, if you will. Migration, hibernation, reproduction. How do animals know when and where to go? What to do? That's just animal instinct. Now you're arguing semantics, Mr. Miles. Whatever you call it, the fact remains. These creatures hold knowledge absent the requisite first-hand experience. I've spent the past 30 years trying to understand why. I discovered something most fascinating. Our DNA functions as an archive. It contains not only genetic instructions passed down from previous generations, but memories as well. The memories of our ancestors. And the Animus lets you decode and read these DNA files. Precisely. But there's a problem. This is the specific memory we're trying to access. Unfortunately, when we try and open the memory, your mind withdraws. You lack the confidence to step into your ancestor's body. That's what happened earlier. You got knocked out of the target memory and pushed back to a more stable state. Why? It's your subconscious. It's resisting. We found similar reactions among patients who undergo hypnosis to relive traumatic events. They can't jump directly into the specific memory. They need to be eased in. Even then, there can be problems. So how do we fix it? We find a memory you can synchronize with, and we move forward from there. You'll get used to it. This is the closest we can get, so it's where we'll have to start. I'm uploading the tutorial program now. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna run the intro to the ish, and uh, you know, not get not too complicated. You know what I'm saying? The uh, first episode of a couple shouldn't be too long of a let's play, so let's get lit. Warning: Data stream unstable. Attempting to restore synchronization. Hello, Subject Seventeen. This tutorial has been prepared in order to better acclimate you to the Animus's control system. Instructions will follow shortly. Anyone thinks that uh, Desmond looks a lot like Altair? How in sync you are with your or is that just me? Memories. If you ever fall completely out of sync, the Animus will restore you to your last synchronized position. You are currently dangerously close to desynchronization. Please follow all forthcoming instructions in order to restore system stability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've already been here 10 minutes. Let's just get it going. The Animus <laughs> utilizes a puppeteering concept to control the actions of your ancestor. I'm loading subroutines to validate your body's adaptation to the Animus. We will begin by exploring the default actions of each input. Alright. Let's fucking get it. Matter of fact, can I actually fuck with the options right now? I do want to turn down the, uh, the sound a little bit. Uh, we're gonna go straight to... Did I not? We're gonna put it all on. Uh... Ah, they'll never let me go. Gee, well, that was fucking depressing. Animus blood? You can turn the blood off? I didn't even know that. Uh, hopefully it's not too loud. Hopefully y'all can hear me, but yeah, let's, let's get straight back into it. While standing still, use the head button to observe your environment. That shit's creepy. This is creepy as fuck. Use your empty hand 
to walk through these jar carriers without causing them to drop what they're holding. Proceed to the marker to continue the synchronization process. See, that that was stupid. I literally was holding the button. He was sitting there just caressing his fucking hand across everybody. And then when he actually wanted to walk through, he decided to just... Yeah, that's cool. Are you going to do it now or what? Like, come on now. Look, I'm awful at this game, but I ain't, I ain't that awful. Shut the fuck up. Delete your comment. Well done. <laughs> uh, bullying out the gate. The animus differentiates between two fundamental actions. Low profile and high profile. Low profile actions are socially acceptable. High profile actions are more action oriented. Hold the high profile button to see how your heads up display changes the context of the puppeteering inputs. Oh. Ah. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, I can't wait until we get to like revelations and that that ish. We will continue your synchronization process by testing some high profile actions. Grab and throw this individual onto the marker by using the empty hand button in high profile. Good. <laughs> using your legs button in high profile will allow you to sprint. Sprinting is useful to escape from soldiers or to get closer to a fleeing target. However, be careful not to bump into anyone, for you can lose your balance and tumble to the ground. Yes, ma'am. While sprinting, reach the marker before this man does. <laughs> well done. The Animus will also provide other important information. The social status icon gives you information on your social status. The different states will be explained in context soon. This icon appears when a soldier is looking at you. The yellow color means the soldier is either unaware or suspicious of who you are. To illustrate the change in awareness level, you will stealth assassinate this soldier. First, lock onto your target. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, this episode is probably just gonna be uh, fucking uh, the tutorial shit. And then, so if you don't want to see the tutorial shit and that ish, uh, you might want to just either skip to the end of the video or just skip this video entirely. Cause uh, it's got to be a quick, short one. I'm still in my fucking work clothes, dog. <laughs> Shower. Go do some ish. Listen, we can we can talk about it. The dead body has alerted ah. the soldier and changed his awareness to informed, as represented by the red witness indicator. Aggressive actions or socially unacceptable behavior undertaken at this time will likely provoke an armed response. Provoke this soldier. Notice how the social status icon has changed to exposed. Use the ladder and try to break the line of sight. All right, let's go. You can't get away from me. Oh, I can though, and I will. Excellent. The line of sight has been broken. Now run into the roof garden to hide from the soldier. <laughs> Good. Your social status indicates that you are hidden, but the soldier is still looking for you. Wait until your social status changes again. This is pointless. Well done. The soldier has lost your track. You are now anonymous, and you can exit the hide spot. Excellent. Excellent. Alright, let's get into the cool shit, man. Being anonymous will fill your synchronization bar and make your job as an assassin easier. There are different places which you can use to hide. However, you must always break the line of sight first, and then use a hide spot to vanish. Yeah. 
Yeah. Let us continue with the demonstration of Blend. Blend can be activated with the passive use of your legs. You can mimic a scholar and pass near soldiers without arousing suspicion. Oh, Use really? this to reach the marker behind the soldiers. Got it. And they're cautious. But they don't give a fuck. Even though I'm a scholar with a bunch of fucking weapons on me and shit. But, you know. Sure. Good. Now that you are fully synced, a new ability is available to you. Referred to as Eagle Vision, this sixth sense helped your ancestor understand the intentions of people around him. Well done. Alright. Remember. Eagle Vision will only be available once you are fully synced. Please right note that following the Assassin's Creed, your ancestor's way of life will assist you with staying in sync. The Creed consists of three tenets. First, never hurt an innocent person. Second, always be discreet. Third, do not compromise the clan. Should you lose the sync, clan, did you call us a you can restore we the brotherhood around here? I mean, we the clan usually, but we the brotherhood around here today. The creed. Or the creed. You have successfully completed the tutorial. The most stable memory block will now be loaded. Alright, let's get it. So we're going to run this little intro part and then we're going to uh, wrap up the ish. Like I said, I'm still in my work clothes. I gotta take a shower and I gotta fucking go get some food and I just gotta do some laundry. Wait, <laughs> I got so much. There shit must I be do. another way. This one need not die. <laughs> An excellent skill. Fortune favors your blade. Not fortune, skill. Watch a while longer and you might learn something. Indeed. He'll teach you how to disregard everything the Masters taught us. And how would you have done it? I would not have drawn attention to us. I would not have taken the life of an innocent. What I would have done is follow the creed. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Understand these words. It matters not how we complete our task. Only that it's done. But this is not the way of- My way is better. Altair is a little head. asshole in the beginning. Try not to dishonor us further. <laughs> What is our mission? My brother would say nothing to me. Only that I should be honored to have been invited. The Master believes the Templars have found something beneath the Temple Mount. The treasure? I do not know. All that matters is the Master considers it important. Else he would not have asked me to retrieve it. Alright, now we're actually getting into some action. Uh, this is a very short game, but uh... Now it's not, again, we just did this, uh, well at least I just recorded this video about, you know, a best Assassin's Creed parkour. While I thought that the original is fine, I, uh, it, you know, I, I do be goofing with it. Cause it, you know, it, it be goofing on me. But I'm not gonna sit here and try and blame the game too hefty, it's probably just cause I suck. And sometimes the game wigs out, it's an old game, you know what I'm saying? But either way. It only took us like 20 minutes to get to the, the goodies, there. but... That must be the Ark. The Ark of the Covenant? Don't be silly. There's no such thing. It's just a story. Then what is it? Quiet! Someone's coming! I want us through this gate before sunrise. The sooner we possess it, the sooner we can turn our attention to those jackals at Masiaf. Masiaf! Robert de Saab. His life is mine. No. We were asked to retrieve the treasure and deal with Robert only if necessary. He stands between us and it. I'd say it's necessary. Yo, we yelling. Discretion, Altair. You mean cowardice. That man is our greatest enemy. And here we have a chance to be rid of him. You have already broken two tenets of our creed. Now you would break the third. Do not compromise the Brotherhood. I am your superior in both title and ability. You should know better than to question me. Jeez, Altair. I cannot see a damn thing. So let me just, can I just, I wanted to climb on that and go and get to over there. I guess we'll do it like this. Can I like, can I still, 
<clears throat> yeah, we walking and shit? Huh. Alright, I guess we'll just jump to him. We'll just let him Hold know. Templars. You are not the only ones with business here. Ah. Well, this explains my missing man. And what is it you want? Blood. <laughs> Damn. You know not the things in which you meddle, assassin. I spare you only that you may return to your master and deliver a message. The Holy Land is lost to him and his. He should flee now while he has the chance. Stay, and all of you will die. You just... I mean... I know there's another way out, but like, how did he know that? He's fiend to get trapped. Oh, we gotta go. We just gonna dip. Well, that seems like the way. Right, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh uh, yeah, it's gonna be a short and sweet episode, just like most. Uh, probably each episode I'll do, you know, certain. I, I'll wait until we get a little bit more story context before I start even talking. Um, but yeah, dude, ah. It feels good to be playing the, the OG Assassin's Creed. Uh, I can't wait for Brotherhood and like Revelations. Those are the games that I, like, I remember the most. And I, you know, I'm going to play 3 as well. I don't particularly like Connor, but 3 is not a bad game. Uh, there's two things that are wrong with that game, and I'm not going to say it in case you've never even seen this game before because you don't deserve to, you know, just get spoiled off rip. Uh, but if you do, you do. You know, you know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what my critiques are going to be. Uh, but like non-spoiler wise, I think Connor's kind of an ass character and not even because of his voice, but more Batman, because of, uh, you've returned. uh, his dialogue. He it just sounds like, a fuck. he's just, he's just wack. I trust your mission was a success. Is the master in his tower? Yes, yes. Uh, buried in his books as always. No doubt he expects you. My thanks, brother. Safety and peace out there. On you as well. All right. I was on mute the whole time. So basically what I was saying is we're going to try and play all the Assassin's Creed games. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, we're going to play all the Assassin's Creed's fucking... Dude, this game is beautiful. I, try, I almost rebuilt this in Minecraft once. Uh, I might skip two just for the pure fact... I don't know. It's something about... It's not that I hate it. It's that the controls... I just don't gel well with it in that one. And it's not, it's not a bad game. Like, whatsoever. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla is not coming until holiday, uh, 2020, so we're gonna try and play the majority. Like I said, for now, I'm gonna kind of skip two and possibly ah, Syndicate. He returns at last. Uh, we'll see at what last. happens in the future, though. Where are the others? Did you ride ahead hoping to be the first one back? I know you are loath to share the glory. Silence is just another form of ascent. Have you nothing better to do? I bring word from the Master. He waits for you in the library. Best hurry. No doubt you're eager to put your tongue to his boot. Another word and I'll put my blade to your throat. There'll be plenty of time for that later. Mm. Brother. Brother. Fuck you. But no, I remember once upon a time I tried rebuilding the Masyaf castle in Minecraft. And I got far. I, I did the, the castle in this little courtyard. But I didn't do the surrounding wall and that tower over here. I didn't finish the tower. Uh, so you know what? That should be a video one day. Including the secret special places that we're not going to talk about right now. Because again, if you don't know, you don't know. But if you know, you know. So why do I got to say it out loud? Um, yeah, yeah. Ah. The old castle, bro. This is fire. Altair. Master. Come forward. Tell me of your mission. I trust you have recovered the Templar's treasure. There was some trouble, Master. Robert de Sable was not alone. When does our work ever go as expected? It's our ability to adapt that makes us who we are. 
This time it was not enough. What do you mean? I have failed you. The treasure? Lost to us. And Robert? Escaped. I send you, my best man, to complete a mission more important than any that has come before. And you return to me with nothing but apologies and excuses. I did. Do not speak! Not another word! Bitch. This is not what I expected. We'll need to mount another force. I swear to you I'll find him. I'll go in. No! You'll do nothing. You've done enough. Where are Malik and Kadar? Dead. No! Not dead. Uh, of course. Malik? I still live at least. And your brother? Gone. Because of you! Robert threw me from you. the roof. There was no way back. Nothing I could do. Because you would not heed my warning! All of this could have been avoided! And my brother... My brother would still be alive! Your arrogance nearly cost us victory today. Nearly? I've watched your favorite fail to find. Here. Take it. Though it seems I've returned with more than just their treasure. Master, we are under attack. Robert de Sable lays siege to Masiaf's village. So he sees a battle. Very well. I'll not deny him. Go. Inform the others. The fortress must be prepared. As for you, Altair, our discussion will have to wait. You must make for the oh, village. Fuck all Destroy these invaders. Drive them from our home. It will be done. Fast forwarding memory. Yeah, to fuck a these motherfuckers. All right, bitches. Only took 30 Adair, minutes, but it's good you've come. We need your some, some shit's What's going down. Fine. Templars. They attacked the village. Most of our people were able to get away. Most, but not all. What do you need me to do? Distract the Templars. Keep them occupied while I rescue those still trapped inside. As you wish. All right. Let's fucking go. It is. Weapon, first on right shoulder, select your sword. Alright, so uh, I'm a little rusty, so give me uh, uno momento to get my barons together. And like I said, once we get to like through like sequence two or three, like we'll start learning how to do shit again. Alright, come on, bitches. Oh! Ow. Bitch. All right. Oh, so, oh. Oh, no, it's time to... Woo, bitch. Come on, man. I remembered how to counter. Woo. I did kind of block that one, but let's say I didn't. Come on, bitch. Oh, I didn't even see it. Yo, bitch. Sometimes the counter is just not feeling it, you know what I'm saying? All right. Woo! Yeah, I know. Some people are just immaculate at the combat, but sometimes I'll be booing, honestly. But yeah, got some action going. Only took a fucking second. Come here, bitch. Beat. 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 Oh, what the fuck? And he just got back up after he said he was dead. That's pretty cool about that. Whoa, you almost got my ass. I don't know what happened to you there, but... Alright. Come on, now. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, this will probably be... I mean, it's gonna be a quick episode in terms of, like, how I usually do shit. But, uh... I feel like these episodes will be fairly short each episode I think uh, I, again fuck I'm, I'm about to get ahead of the plot so I'm, I'm gonna wait until I say what I'm gonna do well 
to a more recent one. I was barely fast forward. Come. Al Muallim's not done with us yet. Where are we going? Up there. We have a surprise plan for our guests. All Just right, do let's get as it. I do. It should become yeah. clear soon enough. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. He's going to hurt himself. Possibly. And man, apparently I also just realized, found out that they're remastering uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, which they better do Pro Skater 3 and 4 and Underground 1 and 2 at least. Uh, we'll talk about American Wasteland Project 8 when we get there. But they should, but with that being said, they should Stand totally fucking uh, remaster Assassin's Creed 1 just to up the fucking controls and style and the fucking graphics. Like that's, it doesn't need anything else. What you have stolen from me! You've no claim to it, Robert. Take yourself from here before I'm forced to thin your ranks further. You play a dangerous game! I assure you, this is no game. So be it! Bring forth the hostage! <laughs> your village lays in ruins, and your stores are hardly endless! How long before your fortress crumbles from within? How disciplined will your men remain when the wells run dry and your food is gone? My men do not fear death, Robert. They welcome it and the rewards it brings. Good. Then they shall have it all around. Follow me and do so without hesitation. Show this fool knight what it is to have no fear. Go to God! <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my leg! Ah, oh, my leg! Quiet, or the Templars will hear us. I thought, I thought I was about to just jump straight off the cliff. And I'm definitely going to be fucking up just a lot of stuff in this game, but we're going to have a good time. It's pretty lit, you know what I'm saying? It's not too long. Uh... The, the Assassin's Creed series. If you're if you're down with history and just and lore, then then you're you'll, you'll be all about it. Oh shit! I didn't. Well, the, <laughs> the one critique I do have about this game, it's not necessarily the climbing. It's also the uh, look at this, the fucking camera. <laughs> the camera's kind of ass. Uh, but you know what? I don't even know how to make a game like I'd be saying, so I, I can't be talking shit. Wow. Yeah, it's just the intro to this shit, man. But past the intro, we only got, you know, not not too much to do. They'll explain it here in a little, little, little bit. You did well to drive Robert from here. His force is broken. It shall be a long while before he troubles us again. Tell me, do you know why it is you are successful? You listened. Were it that you'd listened in Solomon's temple, Altair? All of this would have been avoided. I did as I was asked. No, you did as you pleased. Malik has told me of the arrogance you displayed, your disregard for our ways. What are you doing? There are rules. We are nothing if we do not abide by the Assassin's Creed. Three simple tenets, which you seem to forget. I will remind you. First and foremost, stay your blade. From the flesh of an innocent, I know. <laughs> and stay your tongue. Unless I give you leave to use it. If you are so familiar with this tenant, then why did you kill the old man inside the temple? He was innocent. He did not need to die. Your insolence knows no bounds. Make humble heart, child, or I swear I'll tear it from you with my own hands. The second tenet is that which gives us strength. Hide in plain sight. Let the people mask you such that you become one with the crowd. Do you remember? 
Because as I hear it, you chose to expose yourself, drawing attention before you'd struck. The third and final tenet. The worst of all your betrayals. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Its meaning should be obvious. Your actions must never bring harm upon us, direct or indirect. Yet your selfish act beneath Jerusalem placed us all in danger. Worse still, you brought the enemy to our home. Every man we've lost today was lost because of you. I am sorry. Truly I am. But I cannot abide a traitor. I am not a traitor. Your actions indicate otherwise. And so you leave me no choice. Peace be upon you, Altair. What's it? Hey, he was just ready to kill me after I just fucking saved y'all's asses, but you know, did what I was told, but you know, you know, it's whatever, you got what you wanted anyway at the end of the day, you know, you know, it's just cool. He's just a little bitch out, Maloon, Maloon, He's experiencing Malin. a far better adoption rate than the other subjects. I'm still pulling him out. He's been in there way too long. No, not yet. We're still so far from where we need to be. We shouldn't risk it. What's another hour or two? Why don't we discuss this in the conference room? Give Desmond a minute to stretch his legs. I, I really don't see the need. Warren, please. Fine. I like how when we're outside of the Animus, like, at least in this, like, scene right here in particular, like, it's all, like, digital. It looks like we're being watched through a camera, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but not fire. And honestly, not bad graphics of 2007. Like, this shit ain't looking bad at all, really. I mean, obviously could look better <laughs> but like look at look at that hair that hair doesn't look so bad you know what i'm saying but uh yeah we about to wrap up this episode because holy shit i didn't know it was gonna be 40 minutes long if i would have known <laughs> i didn't know it was gonna be this long Yeah, it sucks that this game doesn't have any fucking subtitles. That'd be really cool. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I'll try and be quiet as much as I can when people are talking. Alright, so what's the deal with y'all? Let me out of this bitch. We're done for today, Mr. Miles. I suggest you ah. return to your room and get some rest. Yes, sir. Alright, so yeah, uh, we gonna, we gonna try to play this in its entirety. And when I say try, we're gonna do it, because I don't, you know... I don't want to start a game if I ain't going to fucking finish it. But, uh... I only Damn it, they locked the door. <laughs> uh, in terms of once we get through this ish, in terms of playing Assassin's Creed 2, I don't know yet. I just... I Look at his fucking neck, though. Uh, look at his fucking neck, it's swiveling! Um, I, I don't exactly know or whatever, but uh, we're going we gonna to try our utmost best uh, to... Uh, do what we gotta do definitely gonna do brotherhood and revelations and again if you if you really can't get into it it's all right the older games are kind of you just you just really have to be behind it uh the newer games that you know they're more colorful and and shit this is more dark and gritty if if you will so uh more assassin's creed videos that comes you know soon uh more like top tens and and like wish lists and maybe even updates on valhalla uh i'm by no means the number one media source for this ish but you know if we're gonna have a discussion let's have a fucking discussion this is one of my favorite series and i'm glad that you know they they learn from their mistakes with odyssey because I, I i don't count odyssey as an assassin's creed game so to me I, there hasn't been an actual assassin's creed game since like 2017 origins um 
so yeah, uh, we'll we'll see we'll see how that all that that whole ish goes and uh, and uh, as you know the shit progresses. But uh, with that being said, down below you can follow the mixer and uh, to see the ish early or see ish you will usually see. You can like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see all the less plays and just all the ish in general. Most of the shit right now from mixer comes up here. Uh, soon to be recording videos again, like actually recording it off my capture card and shit. Um, so that should be a motherfucking thing. You can fucking follow the music as well. We'd be doing music. There's nothing to do in this quarantine time except for watch some motherfucking videos, join the conversation, and listen to tunes. So you can find my my ish and my rap group shit, uh, Triple Dollar Signs ish, because uh, we have a couple albums out and uh, they're pretty fucking good. I recommend Soul Runner. It's uh it's about to be uh three years old in uh July. Um, so you know, peep that uh, new album in the making for myself and uh, all that ish. You know the fucking deal. Thanks for fucking watching and thanks for fucking coming. This is about to be a motherfucking journey. This assassin's fucking greed ish. I can't speak. <laughs>